how to find the search volume on YouTube, not on Google, but for specifically YouTube. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up icon so we can let the algorithms know that I can create more content. All right, let's go dive in. I'm going to show you which specific tool I use to get this search volume data and also importantly, how I use it. So here I am in YouTube and I'm actually going to use a paid tool called Keywords Everywhere to get vol search volume data for YouTube. A lot of the um, other keyword research tools like the Google one and various others only give you the results for Google. And so Keywords Everywhere will actually give me the search results for YouTube. Okay, so if you actually go to keywordseverywhere.com, you are going to have to buy some credits. I bought $10 worth, that gets me 100,000 credits. So that's more than enough. And so what I have to do is I go to my uh, Chrome extension and I toggle it on. When I'm not using this, I keep it toggled off so it doesn't use up my credits. Okay, and as you can see, I've got 73,000 credits left. Okay, so now that it's toggled on, I'm going to refresh this. And I am now going to start typing in like a particular search phrase that um, is in my target market. So for me at teachtraffic.com, I teach people Google ads, Facebook ads. So a keyword that I would like to rank for would be Google ads training. And if I click search, you will see here we get volume data below here as well. It's giving me some trend data as well. OK, if I as I, if you probably saw when I hovered over here, it's giving me the historical trend data, which just disappeared there. Uh, and I also get some search insights here. It's just in the middle of loading, but it tells me the approximate volume, the ranking difficulty um, and various other metrics as well. It also gives me trend data over time. And I can also have a look at the most used tags. So I can see that um, Google Ads Tutorial is a similar keyword to this, but could also be really good. It gets less volume, uh, but perhaps that's also worth testing. Google AdWords Tutorial, uh, Google Marketing, Google Ads Course. So here you go. This is a much better keyword considering what I teach at teachtraffic.com is a Google Ads course. OK, so um, this is really, really handy. Uh, another thing that I like to do is if I just keep my cursor here, it's going to populate with suggestions as well. So Google and it also gives me the associated volumes here. So Google search ads, Google ads, affiliate marketing, etc. So I can kind of get additional ideas this way. Now, if you want to get a little bit more information as well, what you can do is I can um, click on my this keyword here and it's going to open up in a new browser uh, in Keywords Everywhere and it's going to give me a whole bunch of additional YouTube keywords related to my uh, base keyword that I put in of Google Ads Training. So it's just loading up here. It's at 11, 12% and it will tell me all the keywords that I could possibly look to target their search volume, the approximate cost per click, but you know, disregard that. And what I would really be looking at is how competitive it is, uh, the trend. So ideally you want something which is trending up. <laughs> I would say we definitely don't look for something that's kind of quite cyclical or you want something that's stable. And yeah, you can get lots of additional ideas this way. It's still downloading. And then you can export this or download it and then start creating content around those keywords. Okay, so that's how I use Keywords Everywhere. Uh, if you like videos like this, hit that like button so you can let the algorithm uh, know that you like my content. And you can also check out teachtraffic.com for more training material like this. Thanks for watching.